The Browns gave Cleveland a, a little bit of an early weekend start with that Thursday night win uh, in the snow at home against the Steelers. Uh, Browns found a way to get their third win and gave uh, the Steelers, who came in 8-2, and two, their third loss. Far from perfect, uh, but you take the results when you get a win. Kevin Stefanski in the locker room addressing the Browns after the win. How about that team win? Yeah! Yeah! Bush called me. Hey, we talked about being resilient. Resilient doesn't give a f Resilient doesn't care, okay? Resilient just worries about what's in front of them, okay? How about what was in front of us? We're up 18-6, and then the fourth quarter, all of a sudden, we're down 19-8. And what do we need to be as a team? Resilient. Resilient. And you only do that together. You only do that as an offense, as a defense, and as special teams. Okay, I told you to expect to win this game. I told you to have your conviction exceed your doubt. And what I saw from this group in that fourth quarter was our conviction was so strong, we were not leaving without this win as a team. Fellas, that is a great, great team win, and I appreciate this group, team on three, one, two, three. With that, let's welcome in G. Bush, 92.3, the fans, the barbershop swells, the ultimate Cleveland sports show. And G. Bush, there is never such thing as bad win against the Pittsburgh Steelers for the Cleveland Browns. Okay, Kevin Stefanski, <laughs> you sounded like you was a man on a mission in there. Listen, that, that, that's not the cool, calm, collected, I, I'm the GQ model with the nice silvery beard. It looked like you was in there really expecting to win this football game. I like what you did in that post-game conference right there is talking to your team because one thing that we were looking forward to is saying, we're going to find out in these these next few games what it is that Kevin Stefanski is really made of. It's easy to talk about winning games last year a little bit when you have eight, you know, I, I don't know how many quarterbacks they were playing, but in a, in a way, you weren't exposed to, you weren't expected to win those games because Deshaun Watson was out for the year. You, you would, you know, take PJ Walker, DTR. It's all well documented. You almost playing with house money then. This year, you had expectations, and when they turned out, Deshaun Watson is gone again. It's a whole different another ball game now because now we're trying to see whether or not. Your team is going to go to bat for you, whether your team is going to going to fight, whether your team is going to come out. They don't really have much to play for at 2-8. and eight. When you're 2-8 and eight and you don't got much to play for and you got a division rival coming into your backyard and it's snowing outside and it's cold and the first thing in your mind is maybe I should go ahead and pack this in. Maybe I should go ahead and say my hamstring is a little tight. Maybe I don't really, really want to run and sprint uh, down the field and tackle somebody in the snow in a snowstorm. But I will give you credit, and I'll give him all the credit in the world. His team didn't quit on him. His team actually did persevere through a lot of things. And there was times in that football game where we thought it was going to be the same old Browns, same old way to lose it, especially when they, you know, as he talked about, you're up in the fourth quarter, two scores, all of a sudden you're down. You look it up like, what happened? This is one of those typical Browns being the Browns games, but they they got it done. Jameis Winston, I'm sure we'll talk about him throughout this uh, this little segment. I thought he, he the numbers ain't going to really show it, but I thought he played tremendous. I, you know, he had a turnover there, but some of the stuff he was doing in the snowstorm, he rallied his team. Uh, people believe in him, and he, it may sound a little, you know, a little, a little funny, and you, you may look at Jameis a little bit the way he answers questions, but you can never doubt the man's faith and his faith and in his ability to rally his team. So I thought overall great team win, especially when you're talking about doing it against the Steelers who have been coming in on a roll. I'm all for taking it and getting the Steelers up out of here anytime I can. Great team win, great entertaining game. And uh, Kevin Stefanski lives to fight another week.